Today, we're going to be talking about pi and what it is and why it exists. All right, so you may know pi in your mathematical learning as some number that's around three. But in reality, its significance runs a lot deeper than that. The original reason pi was created was because people noticed that for any circle, no matter how big or how small, the ratio between the circumference, which is the the line enclosing the circle, and the diameter, which is a line across the circle, the ratio between the circumference and the diameter was always some number to one, and they called that number pi, pi to one. This means that the circumference, by definition, is always pi times the diameter of a circle. Or, for example, say you unrolled the line surrounding a circle, and this was the circumference, and you'd see that there was one diameter, two diameters, three diameters, and ultimately pi diameters of the circle will fit into one circumference. So you can split up the circumference into sections where the length of the curve is the same as the diameter. And overall, there will be pi of these sections. Now, we, also, we can also do the same kind of relationship with radius of the circle. For example, since the diameter is 2 times the radius, this is because, say you have a radius here, and it's 3, and you are going from here to the opposite side of the circle, so you must add a radius in the opposite direction, and it's another 3, or an r and an r, Therefore, the diameter must be equal to 2 times the radius, because you're going once from the edge of the circle to the center, and then again back to the edge of the circle. So as the diameter is two radiuses, this might lead you to know that the circumference, the ratio of the circumference to the radius, must be 2 pi to 1. For example, again, if you unrolled a circle, and you decided to split it up into lengths the same as the radius, you'd get the first radius, the second radius, the third radius, the fourth radius, the fifth radius, the sixth radius, and ultimately the two pith radius. Additionally, say you split the circle in half, like a semicircle, and you took only half the circumference you would get something halfway along this line to 2 pi, or just pi radiuses. You have the distance r, and you'll know that the length of this curve here is pi r. So that's why pi was created. It's because people realized that there was a relationship between the diameter and the rate or the radius of the circle with the circumference of the circle. And that's why we have the value of pi we use today, which we can use for many useful things such as the area of the circle as well, or the volume of a sphere even. Alright, thank you for watching.